Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and I am in the mood to do a really deep clean and declutter of our kitchen. It has been probably a year and a half since I've really mined the depths of our kitchen cabinets and things just change and your needs change and you bring things in and you sometimes don't take things out that you aren't really using anymore. And I need to do some decluttering and I also wanna do I didn't really do a big spring cleaning like I like to do. Of course, there's always the everyday maintenance that you need to do in a kitchen, but the really deep cleaning I, I need to do. So we're gonna tackle it together today in this video. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, please stick around and subscribe. I love to share all about our home decorating, organizing. I have shared the whole journey of this home and this kitchen on my channel, our fixer upper that we love. We've been here five years already and this kitchen has come a long way and we just love the simple updates that we've done to it. So that is what we're gonna do today. Thank you for being here and let's get to it. That is perfect timing. The first step that I'm doing to clean the kitchen is to deep clean our oven. I love using this Easy Off. It is fume free, so it's, you know, less chemically potent than some of the other options. So I did spray that in our oven about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Well, exactly an hour and 15 minutes. So I am going to tackle that. But first, what I really want to do that I don't think I've ever done is completely clear off our countertops. Take every single thing off of the counters and really deep clean them. Of course, I move things to clean it, but just having completely bare surface and then only putting back what I truly love and use on a daily basis, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give you kind of an overview of what the kitchen looks like right now, and then we will clear the counters. So this is a pretty accurate look at our kitchen on a day-to-day -day basis, just living in the house, things are being used, things are being cleaned, and things aren't completely put away the way that I usually like to do when I kind of reset the kitchen. Back here, we do have a stand mixer and my food processor, which I use both of those at definitely weekly, if not every other day. So I would like to find a place to put this, but because I use it all the time, it's just easy to keep it out. So that is what we're working with right now, just a realistic overview. I have the grates out of the oven because I'm washing it. So let's go ahead and get everything off. Incredibly satisfying to see. It almost looks like like a model kitchen with no one actually living there. And it's very tempting to leave it that way, but wouldn't be super functional. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all the counters. There was definitely some, you know, dust and dirt hiding behind some of these and I found some coffee beans over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that down so that I have nice clean surfaces to take down what is in the cabinets. So I did a video about our backsplash. It is a wood paneled, they call it like a V-groove paneled backsplash. And I made a video about that. It costs us about 50 bucks to do this entire kitchen. And I'll get comments on it every now and then asking how it holds up and you know if it holds up to water and moisture and things like that. And it has held up great, even behind the sink. Obviously things still splash onto it and it needs to be cleaned. So I will clean it with a sponge from time to time. But I'm gonna go around with a magic eraser and just do a really good deep cleaning. Even there's some areas where I can tell like appliances kind of scratched up against it. So I'm gonna try to see if this will get most of those marks off. But otherwise, love this project would highly recommend it if you're looking for a really low cost backsplash option that is also removable it's not like tile that you're kind of committing to and i just personally love the look of a paneled backsplash i think it is just really old world if you will and kind of cozy that cottage you know country style and i have just been super happy with it and now i'm boiling a pot of water i'm going to clean the vent 
filters that are underneath the range hood those get really greasy and just trap dust and things like that and the easiest way i found to clean them is boiling hot water and then just dish soap and then you can put them in the dishwasher at least the ones that i have but i don't put them in super greasy because obviously it's not great for your dishwasher so while that water is starting to boil i'm going to start going into the cabinets i'm not going to take every single thing out i'm just going to kind of open it and look in and just kind of pull out what we are not using or just things that you know have served their purpose served their time and i'm kind of ready to let go all right so in this glass fronted cabinet i pulled out quite a bit actually i have this set of courier knives dishes that i love and i got the entire set with dishes and bowls at a rummage sale i think i paid 15 dollars for everything and I kept it all because it was, you know, a set. But if I'm being honest, the only ones we use are the dinner plates, the bowls, and then that serving like gravy piece. And I just really never use any of this and it just kind of sits in there. Could I use them? Yes, but do I? No, because when we want to have cute serving plates, I have some really pretty vintage ones here. And then I also have these really pretty serving plates as well. And we do actually use those and I don't use these. So in the cabinet, I do have at the top some of our tea set that we actually use whenever, you know, we kind of want to have like a tea party at home, which we do every now and then. And then, like I said, bowls we use all the time, plates we use. These I use all the time, these milk glass bowls. And sadly, I've broken a few, so I'm always on the hunt for more when I go to the thrift store because I use those all the time for serving food. And then, like I said, some decorative plates and then a gravy bowl. All right, so moving down from that cabinet is this big one down here, which is like my main storage for big appliances and pots and our toaster. We have some cookbooks and then there is a shelf on top. And this is where if I could fit my Cuisinart in there, my food processor, I would love to be able to make that fit. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I was able to pull out a couple things that I could go ahead and donate. This is in ice shaver so this is something that we do use sometimes in the summertime but i don't know if it needs to really be in this cabinet we don't use it all the time so this could be something that i move down to our little pantry in the basement and then if we need it we can pull it up but the nespresso you guys i think i think i'm gonna go ahead and let this go it actually has given us trouble working it is nine years old i got this before i had my first baby so it is an older appliance at this point and it just the past few times we've tried to use it which were not any time recently it like did it wasn't really working properly all right this cabinet is done i was able to fit in the food processor and all my most frequently used items i moved up my little ninja blender which i use all the time the canister up there and then the crock pot which i don't use as often i just push to the back and then we have our toaster popcorn maker and then just a couple other things Cuisinart attachments are also there and some less often used dishes off to the side I almost can't believe that all of this just came out of that cabinet because it does go down pretty deep it fills up that whole space there but it's kind of worthless space because it's just so hard to get to but things still accumulate so i need to really assess like our jar situation we have a lot of jars i want to make sure i have lids that go with them and then water bottles we definitely have more that we don't need because we since brought new ones in and not taken some out and just with the kids like some of them they just don't use anymore so i think it's time to kind of phase those out we really like these double walled insulated ones all right everything is back in we have just like glass tupperwares some sippy cups water bottles like coffee tumblers jars some backup items and some baking items are up there and then this is everything that i pulled out that i'm going to go ahead and pass along which i'm really happy about getting all that out and then there was an extra empty container in there so i'm going to put all those cuisinart accessories in here the ones that go with the food processor and then i can put it down in that cabinet my water also boiled i just shut it off so i have my 
filters here in the sink in like a little baking dish to collect the hot water. So the, it's mostly at the bottom, which is really like the center when it's up in the in the range hood. So I'm gonna pour the boiling water over it with some with some soap and just kind of let those sit while I'm working on everything else and then I will clean them off. So it kind of just washes away all of the dirt. It's pretty great. All the grease, I should say. cleaned out under the sink and did a little paint touch up just with some white semi-gloss that I use on all of our trim and that's what I painted the base of it in and just the edges kind of get nicked up when you're taking things in and out so I gave that a little fresh coat of touch up paint I'm going to wipe out this little caddy and get that cleaned and then get all the cleaning supplies back in I did find this down there I don't really know why but that is definitely something I can add to my donation pile. All right, had a lunch break and baby's up. So I'm going to continue to work on the cabinets. I'm gonna go into this one here, which is our spice cabinet. I don't know if there's a ton I'm gonna be getting out of there. And then this one next to it is like mugs and also like some pantry food storage. So let's see what I find. All right, here is spice cabinet. Before we pretty much used everything, but definitely in those white bins, let me see what we have. probably took one minute just to kind of tidy things up, go through the bins, get some extra spices to fit onto our spice rack. I just rearranged a couple of these things so that more frequently used items are in the front. And then like salt and pepper and a couple daily use things are there as well. And then I just pulled a couple things out. These I can clean out and donate and then this is just trash. These little serving cups I like. I like having little stainless steel ones, but these tend to rust for whatever reason, so I don't really use them. I know they're little like pastry, you know, molds, but we use them for snacks for the kids, but I think I'm gonna get rid of them. This bottle we don't need, some extra cups we don't need, and then these are just some um, like expired garbage items. All right, so I went through the final drawer and cabinet, and these are the last things that I pulled out. We have two of these pie servers, so I don't really need two. I'm going to donate that one. And then these two serving pieces, I don't think I've ever used, but I have a set of these, and there's <laughs> spoons and ladles, and I do use those all the time, so I'm going to let those go. So this is everything that I pulled out of the kitchen that I am going to be donating, passing along to others that may be able to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that boxed up so that I can put things back on the counters. So the fronts of some of our cabinets as well have a few nicks in them. We did paint these ourselves and they've held up great for the most part. This obviously in front of the sink is like the most high traffic area. You know, things bang into the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and touch that up.
Easy Off does an amazing job getting the majority of the like cooked on stains out of the metal but you can just see here there's like a little bit that's a little more baked on so i just like to use these steel wool pads that have the soap in it that really helps to get all of that off completely and then it's like perfectly clean and i don't use the heat you know the self-cleaning just that easy off works really well now and I am wrapping up this kitchen declutter and deep clean. Feels so good to have these spaces tackled to touch up pain and really get into those nooks and crannies of some areas that I have been neglecting for a little while. It's so funny. I was with a friend today after church and we went to her house and she kept apologizing for her kitchen that it was messy. And I just had to say to her, that's because you live here. That's because you're using it and you're cooking and you have a family that is how it should look. A clean and pristine kitchen that stays pristine all the time isn't being used. Life happens and messes happen and yes it's great to clean it up and get it reset and looking beautiful but then the messes happen again and we do it over and that's life and it's a wonderful thing to have people to cook and clean for. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel be sure to stick around and subscribe probably hear my oven because I'm about to start on dinner. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon.